Welcome to our system analysis and oral presentation. Table of content. Question 1. Explain the difference between data and information. Question 2. Create different types of information system. Question 3. Use the diagram to show the information flow in different information system. And finally, the references. Question number one. Explain the difference between data and information. Let's begin. What is data? Data is raw and unorganized facts that needs to be processed in order to be meaningful. Even though it can be simple, it is still data if it is unorganized. Some examples of data are facts, observations, and characters. What is information? When data is processed, structured, and presented in a meaningful and useful way, it now becomes information. Information gives undesirability and reduces uncertainty so that when data is transformed into information, it does not have any unnecessary details. You may ask me the difference between data and information. Data doesn't have any real meaning, whereas information exists to provide insights and meaning. On my right hand side, you will see a visual representation of data versus information. Data is an unorganized fact, whereas information is represented in a meaningful way. Question number two. Create different types of information system. What is a system? A system is an orderly grouping of interdependent components linked together accordingly to plan a specific goal. An information system is a collection of hardware, software, and telecommunication networks. These are used to make, gather, and disseminate information in an organization. Information systems are mainly composed of three major components. They are hardware, software, and data. Creation of an information system. The steps to creating an information system include System analysis, determine your needs, system design, system implementation, testing, and maintenance. Type of information systems and how the information flows in an organization. Number one, transaction processing system, TPS. Transaction processing is essential to helping businesses perform daily operations. TPS supports businesses' transactions such as deposit, withdrawals, shipping, building customers, order entry, and placing orders. Number two, knowledge work system, the KWS. The KWS is a specialized system that, that expedites knowledge creation and ensures that the business's technical skills and knowledge are correctly applied. The knowledge work system aids workers in creating and disseminating new information using graphics, communication, and document management tools. Number three, decision support system, DSS. The DSS is a management level interactive computer based information system that, that helps managers to make decisions. 
it used different decision models to break large break down large pieces of data into an easy to use form that makes it easier for managers to compare and analyze information number four management information system mis management information systems are specially designed to help middle managers and supervisors make decisions plan and control workflow question three use the diagram to show the information flow in different information systems the diagrams below shows how information flows in an ad on organization. As you can see, in the middle, decision support system. It wants to decision management, information management, research management, projects management, investigation management, research management. All these are decision support systems. In an office management system, you have the office management, employees management, resources management, task management, attendance management, time entries management. All of these are comprised of office management systems. Here are the reference pages. Thank you.